Who's there? It's just me, Stalk, with T. Ravis. Welcome back to Book Off News, Week 2. In no way is this news meant to make anybody feel attacked or not. It's all just out of good fun, okay? That's what it is. Just good fun. Just just have a good laugh. Welcome back to Book Off News, Week 2, here in the dirty, dirty Gola. We got Jonah with us today for That's some good funny. commercial action. But we're going to start over with Blaine and the calf news, and Blaine's kind of canceled, so after a quick apology, he'll give some news. Blaine, what do we got for the calf news this week, and, and what's your apology? So I'd like to start off by apologizing for not using as many details as I should have while describing a situation with a certain cafeteria <laughs> worker. So, I'm sorry. But let's get on to the point. There was two omelets this week, which is a good thing. The depot messed up multiple orders this, <laughs> this week, so come on, get your head in the game. And also, if you're going to go get a pre-made sandwich, there may be pickles on it, even if they don't say there's pickles in it. <laughs> That's all I got for this week. I'll talk to you guys next week. Thank you, Blaine. A <laughs> word from our brand new sponsor, Jonah. What do you got, Jonah? Are you tired of the calf? Come on down to the pickle restaurant. We got pickled pickles, pickled radishes, pickled eggs, and then for our main course, Pickled chicken, dessert, pickled cake, pickled silverware, pickled plates, pickled tables, pickled waitresses. Everything's pickled here at the pickle restaurant. Pickle water. <laughs> pickled sparkling water. If you, want, if you want to be pickled, go to the pickled restaurant. You may not know. All right, David. What do you got for Adam's sleep talk this week? Anything good? Well, yeah, we got a couple of things. It's, it's going to be better than last week. I'm going to find it. Uh, so, right, right off, after we recorded last week, the next night... I walk into the room, and Adam kind of rolls over and goes, got to get some bread or beard. I, I don't know which one he said, but they, they sound the same. Or no, it was beer or beard, actually. And then he said some more gibberish, and he said, sorry, sir, I'm waiting for my uncle here. You can take that from where you go. Um, then there was another night. Now, I walk into this. This is going to be show and tell portion. I walk into the room, and normally, you know, people lay like this in their bed or something. Sort. Here's Adam. His feet are off the bed. His arms are here, and his head is here. He was sleeping like a bee. And, he was <laughs> and then, just a couple nights ago, I walk in there, and Adam says, Brother. And, so, and then he marvels some more gibberish about the president. That was the last word. He said, Brother, gibberish, and president. So, big week from Adam for Sleep Talk. Uh, tune in next week. Hopefully, we'll have some more. It depends on how much, you know, he wants to communicate with me while he's asleep. <laughs> Thank you, David. Hey, Okay, so big news and the sad moment of the week here in the Dirty Gola. We did not get quarantined, which mean, meant David had to go to all his ADMs this week, and he barely made it. Barely. <laughs> Alexa, play the Jeopardy theme. <laughs> Here's theme from Jeopardy. Think music. Thank you. Welcome to the Book Off Presidential Debate 2020. We're going to start with Parker. Parker, the first question is, is cereal a soup? Cereal, hmm, that's a great question. Thank you, Travis, for that question. Cereal is, while it does contain a liquid and solids, I would argue it's not a soup because- I'm well, David. Look, it's not a soup, Whoa, you don't cook it. Unlike my opponent here is gonna use too many words, I'll get straight to the point when I'm president. No, it's not a soup, you don't cook it, it's milk and cereal put together, thank you. Listen, this is not really a debate because I agree with both of these guys. It's cold. Soup is warm. All right. So, do green flowers really exist? Starting with David. <laughs> you said green flowers, right? Sir? Yeah. I have never seen one, so I do not believe they exist. Thank you. There's a lot of flowers in the world. That's my answer. <laughs> the color green is the worst color on the planet, so if there was no green flowers, I wouldn't argue with it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so we're going to go with Blaine with the last question here. What college major would most likely survive the zombie apocalypse? Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh. We need an answer. I'm going to go with Redneck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Parker. Uh, contemporary dancers because they can do anything. Thank you. All right. Look, it's chemical engineers. I'll tell you why. Number one. Second off, chemical engineers Rob, don't matter. Alright, right, I'm gonna argue. Rob, 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 he's not a danger. He's straight up, Rob. Cut him off! You're no. killing me! Ah! Alright, closing statements. Well, 
uh, consider me because I'm awesome. Thank you. As America's one of what well, as one of America's top scientists, I can tell you this man is talking to speak. Talking to us. Art Blank works at a higher level than you. I have the shortest answers. Alex Ramos sucks. I was breathing. Roll die. That's what. That's my. Thank you. Vote in the comments below for who should be president. I present to you, Rhodey, with the non-engineering news of the week. All right. So our non-engineering news of the week goes to the sports section of the newspaper. This week started the MLB playoffs, and it started with a wild card round of a three-game series, and. Basically, if you're not on the coast, if you're in the central of America, you lost. <laughs> there were seven teams from the central, four from the NL and three from the AL, and they all took else. And so now we'll have Dodgers, Padres, Marlins, Braves, Rays, Yankees, and... A's, Astros. And that is your non-engineering news of the week. Sorry about the Reds, Rudy. Oh. They really choked. Yeah. All right, Parker. So what have you learned this week? Well, uh, I learned a lot about baseball. Uh, after Adam's presentation of different baseball teams, I've learned that there's two divisions of baseball. The National League, the NL, and the AL, the American League. Uh, I learned that I'm now a fan of the St. Louis Card Cardinals. Jesus. And I was heading over to navigate. There's two teams in Los Angeles and two teams in is it Boston? So now we're over here with Adam Dumas, who is leaving this weekend. So he's gonna give us the early quote of the week. What department we got this weekend? Uh, interestingly enough, this quote comes from the psychology department. Oh, boy. It's one of my uh, various sources I have around campus, just feeding me quotes all the time, you know. And the quote from the psych professor was, brushing your teeth is not a factual thing. So you heard it here first, folks. Dentists are not real. <laughs> this is undeniable proof. And I'm sad that the government has been pushing this conspiracy for far too long. <laughs> Adam Answers Yes, sponsored by Band Together Co. And that's all for Stuff with d -Rose. Hope you liked the video. Hope you like and subscribe. And tune in next week for more news from Bukov.